Okay, so what we have here are two 16-gallon water tanks. These are rated for fresh water. So what I'm doing is uh, these these I measured these out compared to the size of the cabinet. So they're going to fill that cabinet up. I believe they're 21 inches tall, if I remember right. So I wanted to maximize the inside. Uh, the filling of the cabinet. I didn't want there to be any leftover room and these are with two of these side by side They're pretty much gonna fill the cabinet for the first 21 inches now. I'm just looking at how these um, Inlets here are um, Kind of a standoff so I did order some of their um, their water attachments here, their barbs. So I've got these large size ones, which I was thinking would be great for filling. Hi everybody. Let's take a look at the water system and see if we can figure out how to finish this up. So I started, I started on this um, back when I was out in uh, Colorado and I quickly realized that I needed better access to parts. So you can see this is my filler system. So I've got the two, let me move some of this out of the way so it's a little easier to see. So the filler system, I've got the two tanks joined together with this one and a half inch large pipe. And then off of this is gonna be the filler hose. Um, I wanted to use the large diameter so the tanks, I can fill them quickly. You know, you pull up to a fill station and um, so this will allow that to happen. So uh, this, I'll have a short piece of hose that'll come up, you know, come up here um, actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this down a little bit so the hose just comes right here so I'm not taking up more space. So the hose will just come here. I'll get a, a short section of garden hose that I'll connect to the fill station and then bring it over here and be able to fill the tanks rapidly. So you need vents in these things. So I've got these half inch diameter that I'm going to use as the vents and I'm going to get some caps for them so when I'm um, when uh, after I'm done filling I can just thread the caps these are threaded holes I can just thread the caps back in there and they'll be sealed then um, over on this side these are going to be my outlets for my two pumps so similar to an issue I had when I was using like the small jug of water. If I just feed this hose down in here from the pump, it wants to curl, of course. It wants to loop up and that's not gonna work. So that's where I kind of stalled 
And what I need to figure out now is how can I attach, I've got one pump and I'm gonna be putting a second pump over here. The second pump is gonna run inside the truck. So this pump is gonna remain for the shower. The second pump is gonna run inside. So I'll have two tanks, one will be for shower and outside water and one will be for inside water. So the idea is to bring a water supply line inside the truck. So, you know, here's the little uh, trap door that goes out to that cabinet where the water tanks are. So I think what I'm going to do is right here, just below the countertop level, I'm going to punch a hole through here. And that's where my water line is going to come in. And I'm going to, I'm going to run it along the face of this cabinet. And then right here is where my faucet's going to be. My idea originally was to drill from this cabinet through the wall into this larger cabinet. And as I was just standing there looking at it, I said to myself, do I want to run a water line right over top of my solar charge controller and my inverter and my batteries? And I said, you know, the answer, having a water line in the cabinet with my electrical system. Do I want to do that? I don't. So if I can bring in a water line here and run it along the face and then have it connect up to my faucet right here, I'm going to give that a shot and see, see what we come up with. Uh, if I had planned this better when I first built the truck, so underneath this countertop, it's a, a short recessed area. The water line could have run right under, right under this countertop and popped right out here. And I wouldn't have been inside this cabinet. I would have been on top of it and underneath this. But this is glued down. There's no way this is coming up. So if I had thought of this and planned out my water system before I glued down these cabinets a year ago, I would be, I'd be in better shape right now. But So I'm going to go get the drill set up, and we're going to punch through right here. It's a clean, straight shot right into this cabinet. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, probably bore like a one-inch hole and put a grommet around it and then uh, bring the water line through. So let's get that set up and do it. How's it coming? Good. Using the skills that I have taught you, you should become awesome at all this stuff. I know. Yes. Okay, so here's my uh, faucet shelf. This is my great idea of a half circle. And then the faucet goes in there. And so I need a couple of uh, shelf supports to hold this up. So let's take a look at how this is going to look inside the truck. So it's going to go right here. Okay. So a couple of shelf supports underneath it to hold it in place. Then mount the faucet. And the water line, again, is just going to come across. You can see I've got it ready. It's going to come across and then right out there. So I guess I should color this uh, 
stain it. I wish I had the same color as the counter. I don't have that anymore. I do have the color that I used on this piece here. It's just a little bit darker. That's all. So I'll go ahead and stain this up and then this will be done. Good morning, everybody. So today's a big day because today we're going to turn on the, the new water system for the first time. So I spent a good portion of yesterday running uh, wiring and picking up different water pipe kind of items over at Home Depot. And so where we're at right now, I'll show you where we're at inside the truck. So here's, here's where the water comes in. And then here's the wiring that goes to the switch on the faucet. Okay. So it's just an interrupt positive. So positive, 12 volt positive comes in into the switch and then 12 volt positive back out to the pump. So it's just a, an interrupt switch. So these wires are run over yonder. This is the hose that I have that's going to come in and then to the faucet. So first thing today, I got some corner brackets um, to support this little faucet shelf that we're going to be putting up. So, so this is going to mount like so with a couple of these L brackets as supports then the faucet mounts to that shelf. So we're gonna get that mounted up today, get the wires connected to the switch, get the hose connected to the faucet, and then out in the, in the outside cabinet, let's go take a look at what we've got out there. So original pump that goes to the shower, second pump that goes inside, it's all wired up, ready to go. Out here, so I was able to use some PEX pipe to go down into these tanks, and that's what these hoses are connected to. So this hose here goes right to this pump. That one right there connects up to this pump, and then out from that pump to this one that goes inside, and this one, the output is already connected up to the water heater here, the shower heater. So, oh, you know, right as I said that, I'm like, boy, I should have hot water going inside, shouldn't I? How would that work? So I could put, I could put a valve, I could put a T-junction on the output. Now it would have to be the output from the water heater a T-junction on that that would divert it either inside or out to the shower. Uh, down the road, maybe. But right now, so I could add a second faucet for cold water. <laughs> Why does things get so complicated the more I think about it? So today, uh, all we got to do is hook up these last couple of hose connections out here and hook up that wiring I showed you and mount the, mount the faucet inside and that's it, we're done. And then we're gonna put some water in it and turn it on. Okay, let's do this. That pump is plumbed. That pump is plumbed. Want to go in the truck? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Go up in your, in your chair. Up here. Sorry if there's background noise. There's a crew working on uh, the neighbor's home over here. Uh, so up in here, 
um, basically all we've got left is these last connections so I got some part, part, particulate filters to put before the pumps because they recommend filtering before the water goes into the pumps so this is my first experience using these PEX systems these clamps I love them so I had to get uh, a smaller size than I had some 3 8 for these connections here so what I got was an assortment um, box so this here these are um, half inch and three quarters and then this is a whole assortment set Let's see if I can open this without flipping it okay so you can see here um, starting at 3 8 and then on down these are some really tiny ones so, so I think I'm going to change uh, originally I was looking at filling and then filling both containers from one input I think I'm going to change that so that I can fill the two tanks separately from each other and the reason for that is um, you know this is my this is my shower and this is my drinking water back here and I you know I always need drinking water and you know I do need to take showers but um, I just want to be able to fill them separately I think that's a better a better plan I, I don't today what I want to do is get um, get these all uh, seated and clamped because even though I'm, I'm using the correct size hose clamp on the correct size hose for this barb I was still getting a leak up here and you know you can't tighten the hose clamp any tighter than it is so I'm hoping that the PEX system is going to take care of that problem so I'm going to get this all buttoned up this is my vent system right here so I have both tanks uh, into a vent um, so when you fill uh, you have uh, air escape so do I need to and then here I just tied these two fittings together because they were open fittings I had these elbows so these are just this is just uh, air airflow here and uh, the hose I have <laughs> barely fit on here so that's why they're only on but it's it's just for air and I can pick up a larger diameter piece of hose so I can seat these all the way back and then not have to worry about them so so today we're going to get these filters I want to see if I can um, mount these uh, s s get some kind of uh, hanger to put them up on the wall this one here if I want to put it up on the wall I'm going to have to I'm going to have to reroute that hose so I'm going to start on that this morning and see if I can get this filter up against the wall so that it can <clears throat> be uh, secured okay I think I have them where the final position is going to be so now I just need to clamp so I've got PEX, PEX, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. This pump, for whatever reason, same size barb, same size hose, this pump, I didn't have any leaks here. This one, I've had constant leaks. I hope I haven't like cracked the plastic hose barb on this thing, so I'm going to find out. I'll tell you what, if I ever have to get behind this panel here to do some work, <laughs> it's going to be a real pain in the butt because I got to take the water tanks out. I got to take all of this crap off, disconnect all these wires. And I have gone behind this thing before um, because my wires that come from, what is it? I have wires that go, oh yeah, my uh, it's my, uh, my PV array, the solar array wires come down here. Maybe that's it. But there's a lot of wiring behind this wall right here. Factory uh, ambulance wiring. Okay, well here's what I've come up with. So you've got the water line and the power lines that come in. And 
connect up to the faucet switch. Great news is it works. Lefty's water bowl here as a test bed. And we're gonna come up here. Here we go. Pumps pretty dang good. That's a strong stream, holy smokes. Okay, so I've added a shelf here and the propane tank is gonna sit right here. So I'm gonna use uh, the same cam lock straps. I'm just getting ready to stick a couple of cleats in the wall here and then the strap will come out and around the propane tank and squish it up against this wall and I'm gonna put some rubber, um, a rubber sheet here about an inch thick that it's gonna use for cushion. takes a lot of pushing pressure. Ah. There we go. All right. One cam lock cargo strap. Is that making sense? So that's a trimmed up yoga pad I'm gonna use as a cushion. Tight. It is definitely squished up against that wall. Well, thanks everybody. This was a long video. This was a lot of work. It took me you know, on and off, I've been messing with this for three weeks. I had to source and collect up so many different parts and fittings, those PEX clamps. You know, I had the whole thing hooked up with the hose clamps and I had leaks. So I, I dove into the world of PEX clamps, which I'm now a firm believer in because I, I re resealed all the Post connections with the PEX clamps and had zero leaks. So they do work. Highly recommend it if you're doing um, water line work. So thanks everybody for watching today. It's a chilly overcast day. It's time to get out of New York. So we're, we're a day or two away from leaving here. So we'll see everybody real soon. Everyone take care.